Today we're going to take another look at a new release from Athrum. And we already saw the 60 foot FMC. We already saw the Gunnison. Now we're going to take a look at the ICC boxcar. So we got CSX under the profit ground. And we have a regular CSX here, non profit ground here. So straight from the factory. Now we have let's flip this around for you guys here. We got this broad to Northern on the Profit Grom. And we have another one from Profit Grom. Now they're both the same um, boxcar, but different road numbers here. But they have the same detail and the uh, stenciling on the car. If we can find a picture online of the cars here, I will definitely. Uh, take a look and compare here we have the cars out the box these are the csx t's now you see the first car here is the first and second car actually are this consider fresh from the factory as delivered and we're going to pair the cars that we can off the bat you can see that the road name the road number here is a little different in the color because it's one panel over And this car here has a uh, patchwork on the car here and also you see the CSX is a different color it's a little bit brighter um, similarly that's a little bit more faded as the rest of the information is here on the car we all go look up these uh, road names road numbers you learn a lot of things about these uh, freight cars and a little bit of the history and you look here that you give information here about the car detailed information too you get your plate f and it says csx class the ln and x16 then you give it a builder as we get the icc from and of course other information but it's also used to be a, a x cbd 16 18 21 that's uh pretty cool to learn about this uh road name and road number and we have a photo of this particular car here and back in 2007 in Georgia. And I always find it interesting to find out what the cars used to look like before they got repainted to this pink scheme here. And as we look for these numbers here, we got the 16, 18, 21 here. Let's set that down. Now in the 16, 18, 30, you come down here and there's no 30. It stops at 29 and picks up at uh, 32. And also, this 161810 come back up here it stops at 9 but it picks up at 12 back in 2007 but you can see here that's a, it's a little blur so we found another number with the same number sequence but the last two is different it's the same AAR code so we can go to the 19 one here now looking at the details and the pink scheme that we do have the white edge here as is per prototype the running board label here also it says a height car with the road name road number which is here it's so pretty good coming down now you see at this panel here or this uh rib at the end it's half paint white and blue as it is per prototype so that's a good match coming down one more rib down you do have information here which is in the appears to be in the correct location and come down one more and more sense on there uh, you come look at the detail here it is very accurate for this uh, model towards the prototype with the end ladders with the horizontal grab barn with the handbrake handbrake chain detail and handbrake uh, housing with that uh, walkway there it's very uh, accurate coming across here now these grab barns here are appropriate for this uh, car as you can see here on the prototype you have your reflecting stripe here that label is here on the car the road name road number information here about the car is here in good location then you got your jack and pad uh, detail here got that plate f you have the tech board here appears in your correct location sometimes they don't have this little card holder here on the uh, model but it is on the prototype now go back to the 19 you can see it a little bit more the door detail here uh, that you have a door that's pretty close to the uh, prototype you 
Now you have this CSX here. Uh, appears to be the correct font, of course, should be. <laughs> uh, come down at the white edge here, and then you have your, your loop board and build date sticker here with the FRA flicking straight under it with a little labeling on the bottom, which it is there on the prototype, looks pretty cool. Also, more information here on the car, that appears to be the correct uh, orientation. And another sticker here, and FRA reflecting stripe, which is there. Also, this model has the two FRA reflecting stripes here on the bottom of the car, which is uh, very accurate um, for this uh, 16, 18, 21. Looks uh, pretty good in uh, my opinion. The model represents the prototype very well in my opinion. Now once again, just trying to see where this uh, paint scheme come from. So um, just looking around and I came across this 377365. I came across a 377359. So I'll we'll click that guy here. And as it pops up, I guess this is the inspiration for this uh, model here. As well, we can see that we have the uh, BN. So patch job here. And it's got an F there. So this is a non-panel car also. And you see, you do have a little information here up in the corner. The uh, door appears to be the correct door for this uh, model. As you can see, that's a stenciling here. And a little right in here on the door. Tag board is on the door, but on a model, it's on the car body. That cushion service here. And you got that old, uh, was it tag two of the stickers here? Old labels for the blue board and build date here. And you have the information here on the car. And you got the two inch, uh, the chew tread here on the bottom of the car, which makes me believe this is the or the one of the cars that they use for this uh, model here. But I'm gonna go back one more car. And let's go to the 302. Open the 302 car. And it's even, even closer than the last car that uh, we take a look at. You can see that there. But it even goes one step further. Now this car here usually um, be the same side as the other car but you see just got patches on the door the other side didn't but I'm looking at this three seven seven well you know you see the numbers that is the same car paint job on both sides but you look at this um, picture of the prototype here that you can see that when it ends it is patched as it is a pro prototype. Now you can see here that you got the BN as it would be here on the model as a pro pro prototype. See information here. All appears to be the correct. See so you got the same kind of uh, patch dot here on the bottom of the door, the cushion service. So I am believing that this uh, 37, I'm sorry, 377 and 302 is the inspiration by behind this Pomfogram car. Just gotta do a little digging to find it.